Hello and welcome to Bald Knowledge, where every single time I get one of your favourite creators, run them through three rounds of quiz, all for Prostate Cancer UK. And uh, this week we have a guest that you might not know of because they're not really used to hanging around on this side of YouTube. Still a Leeds fan, has a weird specialist subject. Uh, so welcome to today's guest. It is Mr. Gary Brannan. Hello, <laughs> how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm reeling from Bald's knowledge, quite honestly. Uh, yeah, there's there's a reason that I decided because I knew that you wouldn't quite know what it's called yet. So yes. I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep that one a little bit stumb and see like what the reaction little, is. I like a little tail on the uh, on the ball there, just to just to force it into an A. We've but, got to make it an A, yeah. I mean, if this was if this was testicular cancer, it would make perfect sense. It would, yeah, it absolutely it's not, would. It? It's the but other I couldn't side. think of a pun. <laughs> oh, I know, but no, but well done. I mean, look at that. That's lovely. Good work. It'll do. Yeah. So, uh, also, that uh, little thing I've put on the ball, that's an apostrophe. I don't do graphic design, so I just decided to whack another text box there. It'll hey, do. Hey, hey, never, look, don't let daylight in on magic, right? Don't magic let is a in big magic. word. Magic is a very big word. It's nice. It's only, what, five letters? It's two syllables. Two syllables is a bit tough for me sometimes. What, well, 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 I never that's why I support you... leads. Yes, you can, <laughs> you, as we all know, you can just bark that in moments of frustration. Oh yes. As you can so, see, I've come, I've come, I've come. My tailor has dressed, my valet has dressed me for the occasion tonight, wearing what is both mo the most recent lead shirt I own, but also one that represents the true banter era of Leeds United. <laughs> you know, it represents the era when we chased the chairman around the car park in a ta when he was in a taxi. Come on. It and if if you're not going to be leads in any other way you might as well make it that way right come on when mini me turned up when Vern Troyer <laughs> rocked up to watch Leeds I mean those were the great days everyone they? loved it it was fantastic yeah <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that was that was the era that sort of weirdly lost me as a Leeds fan because I was like um, you know what I'm at uni I'm on the wrong side of the Pennines <laughs> It's very easy to just fall away from this for a little bit. Yeah, but the night the night he cooked them all pasta to make them play better. <laughs> oh, I that? wish I would have done more questions on him now. There so. are no questions. No, sorry, there are only questions about Massimo Cellino. There are no answers. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, oh, uh, his, for the people his, that... His lawyer, was his lawyer called Johnny Coconuts or something like that as well? Do you remember that? I don't remember He's that. He's a lawyer in Italy. No. I swear he's called Johnny Coconuts. It's the perfect name for a lawyer, to be honest with you. Well, yeah. what else would it be? For the time that if you end up coming back and we end up doing second rounds with people, I'll rename it to Coconuts Knowledge for you. Hey! Hey! So, uh, for the people that might not be uh, fully aware of you, what you do, your previous time on the internet, uh, tell us more about Gary Brannan. Well, <laughs> if only I knew... Uh, I am I am one quarter of a group called Technical Difficulties that has been um, stinking out various corners of the internet with our attempts at funnies uh, for oh, oh god, 15, 14 years now. Um, we a good we while. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> you probably weren't born when we started, my friend. Uh, but yes, we've been doing that for a while. Uh, we've had various things of, of quizzes and 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 adventures and who knows what else in the future as well. Um, I'm a 40-year-old man. I should know better, but I don't. But you've got to fire off a fog on, which... I, uh, um, oh, come on, full description. I was flown to Shetland... <laughs> For the sum total of three and a half hours to honk a foghorn, get it right. But it's something. I and was on YouTube, and that was on YouTube's money, which is why this is a good way to fundraise, Ooh. isn't it? It is, yeah. Didn't you... pay a bean. Oh. My dream is to get to a place where I can just do something daft like that and just be like, no, this is for work. And, and there and you it, go. It's tax deductible. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else is tax deductible? Charity. And we're doing all this for prostate... Is it? I don't know. I can't remember. And we're doing all this for Prostate Cancer UK. There'll be a donation link down below. And in addition to that, all of the new memberships and ad revenue I get from these videos, I chuck towards that as well. I've not quite got on the ad revenue payment from the last month, so, but that'll be going in soonish. So it's fine. 
and all you chaps in the audience, because, you know, there will be some ladies watching too. Chaps, when the doctor calls you and you get to be a man of my age and says, would you like me to give you the old... Go for it. Going to save your life. And for some, surprisingly fun. Well, you know what? They never mind return visits. There we go. They're, they're like, I can't believe you're so conscious about the prostate. And it's like, well, you know... Trust me, once you're, stop coming back. once you're conscious of the prostate, I mean, you know, as I have said to my wife on many occasions, uh, women were designed by architects, men were designed by engineers, and there's a good reason that the old reset button's so hard to get hold of in normal traffic. Or let's face it, we wouldn't be going to work. That's a, that's a really good way of putting it that I've never thought of so far. All our parts anyway. are serviceable and on the outside. <laughs> Anyway, we are here for a quiz, um, not just discussions of the human anatomy. Although no. there's a podcast in that somewhere. There is. Do I need to prove yeah. my Leeds United credentials at any point, or does that uh, come in, in, the, in the duration will, will, of the show? I will get into that at All various right. points. All right. So we've got three rounds. We've got the basics. We have ups and downs, and we have the long list. As always, Gary has picked a specialist subject, which we'll get into later. But we're going to start off with the very basics, which. Right. You'll get some of these, probably most of these. One of them's quite mean, but it's right. fine. So, I'm going to start off very easy for you. What colour is Leeds United's home kit? Uh, in its majority, it's it's white, but you, I would say it's 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 white, blue, yellow in that order. Personally, I just wanted white, but it'll do. You're not well, getting not bonus just, points on that one. Bonus no, it's points not are just coming. White, like, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. But you, <laughs> sure, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, when the kit became white, which team was Don Revy trying to emulate for their European successes? Uh, Joe Cancer, Port Vale. Real answer, Real Madrid. Correct. That's two out of two. See, told you the basics were fine. Ah, we're all right. We're away now. Yeah. Uh, the A643 is home to Leeds United's ground. What other name does the street have? Uh, Ellen Road. It is Ellen Road. Jesus, for a minute, I thought you were going to go, <laughs> no, it's Gelded. Oh, you were going to go... <laughs> that would have been nasty. No! Oh, I might do that for someone in the future. Yeah. Just just, just see if anyone like watches back to like watch the tapes and know what they're expecting. It's, Next it's time, that's going to be Lowfield. <laughs> yeah. Low I've got to say, Lowfield. <laughs> That'd be nasty. Who was Leeds United's first choice goalkeeper? But now? Now. Uh, Iman Messier. It Melier. is Iman Messier. Iman Messier. You got. You got to put the French one there. It's got to be Millie. You yeah, got to sort Millie. of. Go <laughs> Millie. Yeah. Uh, two Leeds United players, and having said that you're a sort of part-time dipper in and outer, this one might be a little bit mean. Which right. two Leeds players who surnames start with G are currently out injured? Uh, Gruev is one. Gruev is one. Archie Gray's not, is he? Archie Gray isn't. Ah. Oh. It... I'll be nice. It doesn't sound like it's a G. God damn. Oh, oh, uh, uh. no, you, you, I'm going to have to tap out on that one. Sorry. I've got Gruev. That's, that's got to count for something. Go on. I'll give you a mark. Fine. Uh, Nonto is the other one. Nonto. Nonto. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right. I've got you now. Doesn't sound. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, going back a little bit in time. Not currently at the club, but who did Leeds United sign Calvin Phillips from? Holy heck, I thought he was homegrown. Yep, that was a trick question. He was homegrown. You get the ah, mark for that one. Why are you on with you? Just for a minute, <laughs> I was so like, it's not, Mid it's not Middlesbrough, is it? No, that's no. Was homegrown, yeah. Uh, there was a little bit of me that was thinking, I could be a real dick and I could say Wortley. But Sorry, I've, I we could, we could always say, of course, as we're recording this today in a joke that we'll do it immediately, Calvin Phillips. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Good lad. Uh, this one is a very specific statistic and is something that I'm going to start doing from uh, last week onwards. Uh, this is a question suggested by our last guest, Evie. Um, in the past two seasons, by that I mean 21-22, 22-23, not huh? this season. How many league wins did Leeds United get when Patrick Bamford scored? 
I'm good. It's something stupid like it's everyone he's scored in, and I can't remember how many he scored each season because Pat's got like glass ankles and brass knees, and therefore is never, never playing. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna couch it in a rubbish way and say it's everyone he scored in, but I can't give you an exact number. I'm gonna say he's not a 20th season striker. Um, it's gonna be about 23. There, I've picked a number. You went the wrong direction. It was something stupid. Hang on a second. Yes, dear. I'm on the internet. There you go. It's my oldest going to bed. All good. Yeah. Uh, it was something stupid, but it was something stupid in the way that when Leeds United had Patrick Bamford on the score sheet, we didn't win a single game in the 21-22 or 22-23 no. seasons. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Mind you, he only played like three three games. Uh, one of the seasons he scored once, and no, did he score at all? I don't know. But the other season was the Jesse Marsh one, where no matter what we did, we weren't winning matches. So, why must why must you say that man's name in my presence? I'm so sorry. Oh. I must deeply apologise. But better times. Who famously scored a fucking great goal at the San Siro? Oh, that was Dan Mattia. That was Dan Mattia. Uh, another question. You might get this one, uh, and we'll discuss this one in a little bit more detail between the rounds. Who once shared a hospitality box with Ken Bates during his stint as owner of Leeds United? That would be me. That would be you, yeah. <laughs> Correction. It wasn't a hospitality box. No, it was it was a level up from that, wasn't it? It was it yeah. was the director's box with Ken Bates. Yes. We're gonna to have to get into that in a minute. Oh, happily. But we have the final question of the round. Uh this one you can get five marks from. Oh well. And this one is a little bit cruel, but oh. it's fine. Okay. Uh put these managers in order of win percentage. Oh highest to lowest. Right. Daniel Farker, uh-huh. Dick Ray, <laughs> had to I sneak him in there. Dick Ray. Uh, <laughs> Gary Monk, yeah. Howard Wilkinson, uh huh. Don Revy. Uh, this is tricky because one of these the, correct one. Yeah, because some of them have been there for a long time, and therefore that reduces your win percentage, doesn't it? Yeah. So I am going to say, I think Daniel Farker's top because it's short period, quite successful. So Daniel Farker wins, is top. Yeah, yeah games to win is higher. Percent. Then I think it's I think it's Don. I think Don's second. Don is second with 53.3%. Yeah. Then um, then Wilco. No. Then it's Gary Monk. Is it? Gary Monk had a win percentage of, of short 47%. Pe- short period, not that successful, but doesn't have the fag end of Wilco that will drag it down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, and well. remaining, we have Wilco Dick and Dick Ray. Dick Ray. Obviously, Dick Ray is last. Obviously, Dick Ray is last. So that is four marks from that one. In yeah. your first round, let's have a count. I'm glad you're scoring. Five, six, seven, eight. That's 12 out of 15. That is not too bad for a first round. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, already, I'm going to break this one to you a little bit harshly. Let's have a look at the leaderboard from uh, last week. no. Someone dropped two marks in total. Oh. Which was terrifying. Well, uh, well, um, whatever, you know. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's the man city of quizzes. I'll, I'll, not, twirl, I'll just catch, twirl a cane. Uh, it's fine. Um, as yeah. long as, you know, I finished the uh, fourth from bottom. I don't care. Um, that's fine. As long as it's not relegation, not a problem. Then again, unpopular opinion. Relegation's been quite fun, hasn't it? Huh? It has. Hasn't but it? I'm also of the opinion that relegation is only fun because we're in our first year after relegation. We still oh, have oh. the fun players. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. This year, this is great. Um, if, this I, is great. I, Next I, year, if we don't go up, hell. Oh. 
if we become that yo-yo club, I think that'll be great, Bants. I, I genuinely do. I think we'll have that crap. We'll have that crap year where we get punched around a bit and go down, and then we have a brilliant year when we just get to like you know cock around. Oh, it's just, great. Just, just just piss it next time. Easy. <laughs> Fantastic feeling. No problem. <laughs> I said this when we went down. I was like, this is why, why do you even want to be in the Premier League? It's just it's boring. This is much more fun. We can win a trophy every other year. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Parachute payment, yeah, every other year. You have some explaining to do, though. Oh, do I? Wait. Oh my god! Right, this is this is yeah. Okay, so, um, I went to the opening of a Leeds United exhibition at Leeds Museum. Uh, this would be uh, 2010, 2011, something like that. And one of them was like some kind of you know, chairman's hospitality experience as a prize in a raffle, yeah. which I entered and didn't win. But my boss did. And she was not in any way bothered. And she went, Oh, well, you you like Leeds, don't you, Gary? You can go. So I was like, Yeah, all right, fine. And in my head, I was like, big corporate dining area, barn, full of tables. Um, like like your man the padded seat does on on TikTok, you know. I thought it's this yeah. kind of thing. So I got dressed up reasonably well, uh, went up the flight of stairs. Someone checks the letter because it was just a letter inviting me, and it was it was Leeds v Charlton when we were in League One. Um, I remember the game. Um, you get the date now; it's something like the fourth, third or fourth of October because it was round about my birthday. And they looked at my letter and went, "Oh, this way." And Eddie Gray shook my hand, and I thought, "Right, damn it, this is it. I'm done." That'll now. do it. Yeah. And my dad had come, and my dad was sat in the stand. He was going to sit just watch the game as well and, and drive me home. And I walked into this room, and it was just like this living room, like sofas and a couple of tables. And there was me, um, and there was Ken Bates, there was and Susanna. There was three of us in this room, and I immediately thought, "Oh shit, I am out of my depth now." Um, and this is not going to be popular at all. But Ken Bates is quite a good host, <laughs> and I'll tell you now, had quite a good wine cellar and was very free with it. So at that point, people start coming in. I think the owner of Charlton was like a Russian oligarch or something because he gave me some kind of weird bear hug as he came in. Hmm. So everyone was confusing me for someone who mattered, and I wasn't. I was just I was just room meat, basically. Yeah. Then, I kid you not, the door bangs, and Lord Harewood comes in in a wheelchair, the old Lord Harewood, you know, escaped from Colvitz, Lord Harewood, being mm-hmm. pushed by this face, and I was like, I recognise who that is. It was Leslie Garrett. The opera singer Leslie Garrett was shoving Lord Harewood through a door. Lord Harewood's only words to me the whole afternoon were, do you like my socks? All right, that was it, because he had his special blue and yellow sock on. Okay. That's not very nice, Lord Harewood. Then I had to have lunch with them all, right? And it was like a proper do this. Ken Bates is watching LUTV the whole time. Um and then ringing the director to bollock him whenever he thought there was something he didn't agree with. He was also watching the gate. And at some point I realised, I was like, oh, shit, I've got to watch football now. Like, <laughs> I can't just have a small banquet. No, it's, it's not. I can't have a small banquet with minor Harry stuff. Well, literally royalty, <laughs> Lord Airwood. And this, we got shepherded out into the, the director's box area. Ken walks up behind me and goes, come on, Gary. Because, basically, I hadn't called um, Ken Bates a cunt at any point yet. Um, he thought I was the bee's knees. Like, I hadn't tried to punch him. Um, I hadn't like you know I'd been a polite guest. Yeah. He thought I was great, so he puts his arm around me and walks me up into the director's box. It was in the West Stand at the time before it, you know yeah. it's not where it is now. Padded seats, little tellies to watch. Ken Bates comes with his arm around me, and at this point, everyone turns around and goes, "Who's this bloke? We Ken Bates?" And someone, and I hope you're watching. I'm really sorry. Someone did get me to sign something. Because I think they thought I was some prospective new investor. Oh, some guy that's just come in to buy the club. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and because Ken was like, sit next to me, Gary. Sit next to me, son. And so I sat next to Ken for this game. I think it was nil-nil. Um, I thought, I, I, at one point, I was getting a bit tense. Now, this sounds like I'm making it up. I promise you, this is 100% true. I feel hands on my shoulders and my upper back rubbing. <laughs> Leslie Garrett is giving me a back rub. Top that. 
it's, I it's am one watching of the weirder Ellen Road stories. Leeds v Charlton in League One with Ken Bates and Susanna Bates while Leslie Gareth rubs my shoulders. We went in. Ken asked me out if I want to go out for dinner in the evening with him. I'm like, I'm really sorry. I'm going to like some Italian restaurant because it's my, it's my birthday. Susanna uh, gives me a bottle of champagne as I leave. I just tumble out of the stand. And my dad's waiting for me. And he's like, well, what happened? I went, I don't you know. won't believe me if you told <laughs> I, I can't say. It starts with getting handshake off Eddie Gray. It ends with a, a very good back rub off um, the country's premier opera, operatic soprano. Oh, and with um, that, uh, yeah, let's go on of to the next ups. round. Um, Let, let's yeah. let's dive into the ups and downs, shall we? Yep. <laughs> Please do so. Um, this is the higher or lower round. I'm going to start okay. you with one little fun step. Then we'll just go through them right. and work out whether the numbers are higher, whether the numbers are lower. Uh, so we'll start off. Uh, this will be a baseline. Ilan Melies wins at Leeds United. He's got 70. He's done pretty well. Mm. Fair enough to him, considering yeah. he's been here for a good while and two of he's those got, seasons were horrific. He, he's got gloves covered in butter. Yeah. And that, yeah. I mean, I quite like him, but it's fine. Bit of a flat he, has, he has a day, yeah. yeah. So that's 70. How many goals have Leeds United scored this season so far, higher or lower? Lower? Oh, I don't know, though. It's March. Well, it's April. It's March. Um, it's April. April. You know what? I mean... No, I'm going to change my answer higher because we're back yeah. end of the season now. I think, yeah, that's the kind of point you would have that sort of number. Have we got a it good is... goal difference? We've scored 75 this season so far, which a yeah. little bit higher. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, compare that with Leeds United points in the last two Premier League seasons combined. Higher or lower than 75? I'm going to say it's still higher because we had quite a good first season. It's not including the first season. It's the second oh. and third Premier oh, League the second seasons. And third, uh, the, 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 the two where we were in the promotion, not yeah, promotion, relegation. Yeah, relegation, in which case lower. Yeah. Yeah. It's lower. It's 69. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey. Um, so we got 69 points across two seasons. Alan Smith was here quite a bit longer than two seasons. No How many goals did he score for Leeds United? More or less than 69? This is all competitions, unless I specify, by the way. Talking all competitions. Uh, higher. He scored 56. Really? That he old? did. Ah, but I'm guessing they were relatively like high impact goals, so you um, oh, remember them a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Alan Smith, you'd often find him on a pitch with Mark Viduka. Did Mark Viduka score more or less than Alan Smith? Alan Smith being 56. I'm going to say less because Vidukas wasn't there as long as Smithy. Might not have been there as long, but he was a lot more prolific. He got himself 72. Wow. Wow. Very this is nice. a huge ride. I mean, I'm going to end up bottom of the table here by the end of this series, but I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it's it. Fine. It's fine. It's going to be a fairly long series. We don't know who's ending up where. You're all good. Um. So from last season to this season, we had a big rotation of players. We lost a lot of footballers. Uh, Sinistera, Adams. Christensen, Urente, and more. Oh. What was that? That's just <laughs> the names coming about back. Urente? Yeah, I didn't know. It was just it was just that roll call of oh, thank God, um, <laughs> that come through. <laughs> uh, so, how much did we spend last season on players that are not currently at the club in millions of pounds, more or less than seventy-two? This is euros. Sorry. And the data is from Transfer Marked. You're a reputable source for this kind of data, obviously. Um, oh, the number of players, I'm going to say more than 72 million. It was 118 million euros. Yeah. 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 Significantly higher. It's a wise spend. <laughs> yeah. This this one should be an easy enough question, though. Um, did those players score more or less goals than that in the 22-23 season. Far less. <laughs> what value for money. Between them, they scored 10. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah. I could have been nice and I could have counted Sinistera's goal at the start of the season, but why be nice to him when he's a little bit of a rat man? Yeah, no, quite yeah. right too. That'll still be what, 11? Uh, yeah. You could divide the total fee by 10 yeah. million. And... <laughs> still, be well out. still be well in. Wow. Is um, that, that mu- I, mean, I mean, it's not going to be the worst spend in the game, is it? That like, But like you say, value for no, but it's not is, good. Uh, it's no. pretty bad, though. We spent something like thirty-five million on Brendan Aronson, and he got nine shots on target all season from number Jeez, ten. Brendan Aronson, yeah, he's not good, and he's still not good, and I don't think he'll ever be good. However, I, I've just remembered that we had Sam Allardyce as manager. Just, I just remembered that. I'd yeah, I forgot that for a bit. Yeah, um, sat there drinking pints of gravy on touchline. <laughs> so they were bad this season. A bit good, we're mm. relatively fine. Mm. How many league matches have we won at home this season? More or less than 10? Oh, more comfortably more 16 more. home yeah. wins this season so far, yeah. Which is which is nice to think that we've won more games in one ground than that entire bunch of players scored goals in a season. Oh, god, <laughs> yes. Um, so that's a decent amount of. Yeah, league matches won uh, with one manager as well. That's quite good. <laughs> uh, but how many managers have been at the club since we got promoted from League One? More or less than sixteen. This is counting individual people, not repeated stints. So not ca- not not like Redders having not Redfern, Redfern, Redfern. Redfern. <laughs> yeah, Redfern. yeah. Um, I'm gonna have a game. I'm gonna have a go at this. So. Oh. I see that's four up to there. And then you got the Chilino era where it was the days of the great Darko Milanic, our our Croatian knight. Um, <laughs> don't, don't, don't forget Hockaday. Let's give him the credit he's deserved. Oh, you see, Hockaday was Pete Banter era. It's people like Darko that had to come in after that and just be in Hockaday and just sort of try and do shadow. things good. Yeah. What? Not not have them stand in a river. <laughs> <laughs> Not have them win 15 nil against a team that didn't turn up. All that. Uh let for some more or less than 16 since promotion from League One. It's, I think it's less. I know it's more. It's 18. Whoa! Wow. Yeah. Wow. Which is intense. Um, so that's 18 managers at the club since League One promotion. They've had plenty of creative players in their time. They've had Pablo Hernandez. They've had Jermaine Beckford was still there for Was he still there for a bit? I don't know, but we, we had Becchio for a bit. Yeah, or Becchio. Um, yeah. Our most recent very creative, very fun footballer is Jorginho Ruter. Isn't Does it? he have more or less than 18 combined goals and assists in all competitions this season? More. More. 24. Yeah. Something like 18 assists. <laughs> it's not just, bad. just compare that for a second <laughs> with Brendan Aronson. I don't want to. Just compare that with Brendan Aronson's contribution. He's in assists, he's got double what Aronson had shots on target. <laughs> really? Shots on yeah. target? Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's just too late for the Banter Era Hall of Fame, is Brendan Aronson. But I know, there should be a place made at the table for him, even so. An exclusive Banter Era, I think, for Brendan oh, Aronson. Yeah. So, with that considered, uh, Georgie is going to be a big part of us getting points. Last question in this section How many points can we get out of the remainder of the league, more or less than 24? I'm currently adding up. <laughs> I mean, ideally, you'd be multiplying at this point by three. I know. Is there something like exactly 24 that we can get? I wouldn't be that much of a dick. No. I've considered it. I wouldn't. I just thought for it, because it's a shorter list than like Ipswich have, isn't it? Of games that we've got. Shorter than Leicester. Shorter than Leicester. I was going to say how many Leicester have, but that would have given it away. Uh, Leicester Uh, have one more than us. Yeah. I think it's more. Just. Just. Three, six, I think nine, it's 18. Ah. Six matches. 
you know, I had have you had that moment when when actually no, you will have because you pay more attention to these things than I do. When did you have your moment of horrific realization that our promotion might depend on Huddersfield Town? That came earlier today. Yeah. I was filming a video for tomorrow, which for when I'm releasing this on Thursday was yesterday, so that's going to be a little bit confusing. Um, but uh, I looked at it and I went, "Oh, they've got Huddersfield on the last day of the season. We've got Southampton <laughs> last day. They've got it's which have got Huddersfield. It yeah. can all come down to." Huddersfield beating Ipswich could be fair. Us. Huddersfield got us promoted last time as well. It was an Emil Smith Rowe goal uh, that did it. You but Town could be trying to stay up as well. Oh God, no! Just if, this is going to end up in a like if they draw, they both get what they want situation, like that one with Huddersfield and Barnsley that year, and yeah. they're just like playing like tippy tappy to each other while stood still in the centre circle at Portman Road, while, like, a huge rear... I mean, the thing is, though, what you want, then, is actually the most town thing to do would be to score an on goal from there. So, <laughs> oh, that'd be great, yeah. And then I think it's Blackburn that oh. are against Leicester on the last day of yeah. the season, who have nothing to fight for. Yeah. So, hopefully, Huddersfield need a win. That'd be nice. I just Last night, I just sat there and went, no. No, that's no. not fun. Yeah. No, why? Why? At least it's it's at Ipswich, isn't it? It's not at town. I think so. Yeah. Oh, it's pain. Honestly, this leads. This just doesn't happen. It's, it's very leads. Yeah. It doesn't happen to other clubs. <laughs> it doesn't. The fixture computer over twelve months ago, nearly sat there and went, and Ipswich will play Huddersfield on the last day. And, and somehow the computer had worked out that Ipswich would get all these last-minute winners again and again and again and again and again and again. And again. Oh, God. The chess pieces are lined up for us to fall flat on our face on the last day because of Huddersfield fucking down. <laughs> so, from the higher or lower end, you got not yourself right. a nice six points. That's not too bad. That's all right. I'll go it's, it's okay. It's firmly middle of the road. Uh, it puts you on 18 so far. No, I'll go with firmly Which, middle of the road. That's that's yeah. all right. Yeah. Um. So now we come to the long list, which is where yes. your speciality comes in. Uh, uh, there are fifteen points up for grabs. There are not fifteen answers. Right. But if you get all of them correct, you'll get fifteen points. You have three lives. Okay. For every time you get one wrong or repeat, you lose a life. And your specialist subject, I've taken this from the DM that you sent me on Twitter, is when I had a <laughs> season, season ticket. ticket. <laughs> Which, for the uninitiated, is some, it's between 1999 and 2001. Question on that. Did it get you into the European matches? It did. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, but you had dibs on them. So you got first pick. I think you did have to buy a European match. The FA Cup was in, up to, like, up to quarterfinal or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, showing one's age, this was when it was still a book of paper tickets that you ripped out at the turnstile. And went, oh, I got it. Yeah. And you got dibs on away matches as well, which is how I ended up having a, a horrific night in Tranmere in the League Cup. And ended which... up covered in someone's blood that you're fairly sure isn't your own. I think it's, oh, God, that was <laughs> awful. Anyone that was there just will remember how awful that whole night was. It was bloody cold. It took ages to get there. I think we went out on penalties as well. It was oh. awful night. So your subject... Sides we played in Europe. Sides played in Europe from 99 to 2001, and yep. I'm going to be a little bit sort of specific here. I am removing an answer. I'm removing Galatasaray for obvious reasons. Quite right, too. Because we don't really want to like no, that. We don't remember that. We don't talk about that. Uh, so, diving into it. Yeah. And just to let you know, you need to score 11 to okay. not be bottom of the table. Yeah, all right. Fine. All right. So, away we go. I'll be marking them down as we go. <laughs> Maritimo. Or Maritimo. Why do I not see Maritimo? Have I got my list wrong? Oh, no, that might be pre-99. That was UEFA Cup. I might have been too cocky there and lost a life already. I have. I know I have. Yes, and I'll be specific as to why. It was the season after we'd played Maritimo. Yes, that's right. It was the UEFA Cup season. 
Right. Okay. Careful, Icarus. Um, okay. Let's play safe. Barcelona. Barcelona's on the list. Yeah. AC Milan. Also on the list. And elect. And elect is on the list. And I very deliberately asked the Don Matteo question earlier to try and like jog a little bit of memories. Oh, thank like, you. Yes, yes, let's yes, let's yes. let's see if the synapse fires. Like last week, um, I know the person that I had on tends to watch my videos. So in the video that I put out the day of the recording, I'd specifically left in a stat, which was Ilya Gruev's win rate. And I had that in the higher or lower section, but she hadn't watched that far in the video oh. yet. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we just had Anderlecht, haven't we? Um, we have. Real Madrid. Is on the list, yep. Valencia. Also on the list. We have five out of... I should have counted these. Four, five, eight, nine, eight, nine, 14. Okay. Besiktas. Besiktas are on the list. Now he feels the pinch. Because I'm getting confused between seasons in the away for cup having just been burned by the Maritimo experience. I'm going to go AS Roma. We did play against Roma okay. in the first of the two seasons. Sparta Prague. No, that's going to be the year before. It's horrible, but I can't give you it. Slavia Prague. Slavia Prague. Slavia Prague. Slavia right. Prague. Uh, Locomotive Moscow. Locomotive. <laughs> Locomotive Moscow are on the list. Crap. Okay, now, now, now I'm bouncing against the uh, the sides. Uh, I'm elect. At Real. We're not mentioning them. Um, who else did we play? I'll give you the mark for them anyway because. Yeah. All right. Fine. It, it feels fair. Like so. That's that's ten. That's you. ten, isn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is ten. I remember one more. Oh! Oh! I just had a flash. A flash. Ah! I know... Savor of the universe. Ah! I know where we played them. Because we played them in Heerenveen. For some reason, I can't remember why we played them in Heerenveen. Which is, that's a great title for a film. We played, they played them in Heerenveen. They played them in Heerenveen. <laughs> that could be Slavia Prague. I don't see why it would be, though, because it was like some kind of dangerous country that we shouldn't be going to. Was that locomotive? No, because we went to Moscow, because I remember everyone coming back with the hats. Crap, who do we play in Heerenveen? Oh, 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 I've got one. I've got one. Um, 1860 Munich. 1860 Munich are on the list. Yes. Because yeah. uh, that was the qualifier, wasn't it, for the Champions League? We it played was. them. Yeah, yeah, it was 1860 Munich. Um, as far as I can tell as well, you have the previous year's qualifier that you haven't gotten as well. Oh. And having Googled, that's the here and been team. Okay, where was dangerous? Where, where was, was dangerous? Where was dangerous in you? Europe? In the it's, I'm saying it's in, Eastern the Europe. Um, All of it. <laughs> yeah, no, so, no, Prague was fine. We went to Prague. That yeah, fine. that's fine. Um, um, Arguably uh, Central Europe, but it's fine. Uh, West Bohemia. Um, it's, yeah. it's, it's less Balkan. Yeah, it is. Uh, 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 is it a Yugoslav? Is it a Yugoslavian team? Something like that. Oh my god! Oh not my anymore, god! <laughs> no. Uh. Uh. Did we go to Moscow twice? Was it just locomotive? Did we? I don't know. Damn it! I have a feeling we did. The itch. You see, I'm being very, I'm being very poor on the 99-2000 UEFA Cup campaign. Um, yes, Roma. Uh, 
that this is a great video for everyone watching as I sit here going, ah. No, these are the bits where everyone just starts like screaming in the chat. Screaming at me. Yeah. Who did we bloody play in here in Veen where it was dangerous in Eastern Europe and we weren't allowed to fly there because it was bad and we 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 shouldn't play there. Um not gonna be in Kosovo. It's gonna be somewhere in the Balkan regions that we shouldn't have gone to. I'll give you a moderate hint. Red Star Belgrade. Is no? that your final guess? Yeah. I'm afraid oh. that's life number three. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Now, there's a couple that you might be kicking yourself with. I will, I will. I'll I go with there. the second I'll go with the second campaign first. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh you miss Lazio? I have Lazio. I was like, no, we didn't play Lazio because I, I would remember playing both Roma and Lazio for fuck. And you miss Deportivo. Depo, bloody Tivo, La Coruña. Yes, they were like the quarter final, weren't they? Yes, or were they in the they group? Were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Depo, Tivo. Yeah. Now. Oh no! Now, I'm now, now, really now! Really going to hate myself here. What was the first Prague team that you said? Slavia. The Spartak first Prague. Almost Spartak Moscow. I knew we did Moscow twice. Damn it! What was the Belgrade team that you said? Red Star. Partizan. Partizan Belgrade. You got Belgrade, you didn't get Partizan. Is, and is it Partizan Belgrade we played in here in Veen? It is, yeah. Where I believe Lucas Radebe scored on his back, if I remember rightly, in the penalty area. There was a mental Radebe goal. In, I remember it was like on his back, and it was played at a weird time. It was it was like laid on his back with his legs in the air. It was like an on his back bicycle kick. That is genuinely one of the weirdest things I've ever heard of someone that didn't end up seeing it. I watched it on telly. I, I know. I'm, I'm saying I've not seen it. I've not seen I'll, it. I'll, it was, I'll have to give it was a mental game because it was on at a weird time as well. It was on at like three or four in the afternoon or something like that. It was all very disconcerting, was that one in here in V. Because yeah, when they had... went to, they were like we're playing it here in V and honestly it looked like it looked like Scunthorpe. It looked like Glanford Park. <laughs> it was this really weird tiny stadium with that had some Leeds fans in. I don't think anyone else. It was just a weird game. Yeah the, the hint I was about to give you was I had a quick Google of uh, Belgrade's Wikipedia page to see what was cracking off at the time. Um, in 1999, during the Kosovo War, ah. NATO bombings caused severe damage to the city. I knew there was a reason. <laughs> a war-related reason. The reason we is to go. NATO went a little bit bomb-happy. NATO um, bombed it! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'd do it, yeah. So, with that... Uh, oh. Let's have a look at your final score. How it's are we good. thinking we did? Oh, I'm flat. I'm flat bottom, surely. I'm but I'm bottom by one point by my reading because I got you ten and didn't get eleven. Level flat bottom. I'll do. That'll do. It'll big. do. I and purely because it was easier to format like this, alphabetically, you're ahead. I'll. There you know what? Go. I'll stay up. I'll goal difference. I'll stay up in alphabetical order. I'll stay up on the toss of a damn coin if it works. You know what? At the end of the series, I might toss a coin to see who ends up where. I'm, I didn't disgrace myself. I got, I got that the nearly do, 30. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Evie is, is an encyclopedia and, and hats off to them. Genuinely scary. That, because the uh, topic that she had to do was goal scorers from this season in uh, Cup and League. And not only did she list all of them, she did the first 10 chronologically. I mean, Come on, I'm trying to remember <laughs> something that happened 20 years ago here. Oh. <laughs> With no revision. So I'll take it. Yeah, fair enough. But with that, uh, I think we're going to bring it to an end. So have you enjoyed your time on Ball's it Knowledge? It has been a wonderful stroll down memory lane, ancient and modern. Ancient, modern, Belgrade here in Vane. Ken Bates' uh, living done room in Edinburgh. I knew we'd done Moscow twice. <laughs> knew we'd done Moscow twice. So, with that, as per, we've got someone slightly infuriated with the fact that they didn't get all the answers they wanted. 
but that's what we're looking for here. Uh, yeah. If you have anyone that you would like to pop on the show, just let me know in the comments down below. Gary, enjoyed your time? It has been brilliant. Thank you very much. It's been good to have you on. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Donate to the link that is somewhere in the description, probably in the middle-ish, because you've got to do the SEO stuff at the start, otherwise this won't get recommended to you. Um, One of them. <laughs> I'll put that it up direction. that corner, yeah. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. I will see you. Thank later. you. Bosh. And this is where I just keep it recording for a moment because it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was good. I was yeah. all right. I, I was good. Fun, it was all right, yeah.